Good evening. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to our SEA Specimen Paper 2021 mini series here on C results. All right. So we are uh, getting into the mathematics paper. We are now on number six, right? Every day we'll be doing two or three questions. And once we are completed with the mathematics paper, we'll move on to the ELA specimen paper, right? These are the papers that were provided by the Ministry of Education. Right? Many, many people have reached out and asked for solutions to these papers. So we're working it through with you. Um, all should be done uh, in time enough before the actual exam date of June the 10th. And then you can maybe look at all of the videos uh, back to back. We've already put them into or created a playlist for the mathematics paper. So you'll be able to go through the entire paper at the end of the series, right? But we're doing it one piece at a time. And uh, we started here during the blessed month of Ramadan and we intend to continue till a little bit after that, right? So question number six, one fifth of Gail's allowance is $30. Calculate Gail's allowance. All right, so we have a part of our allowance, or so a fraction of our allowance, which is one fifth, okay? And now we need to figure out what her entire allowance is. So we can do this a couple of ways, right? One of the more popular methods these days is to draw a block or to use what is known as a block method, right? And we can break this up basically into five parts because we have one fifth of our allowance, right? So therefore, we'll break it up into five pieces. I drew that as equally as I could, right? And one of these blocks is equal to $30, one fifth, right here, represented by one of the blocks. So therefore, we have five blocks in total. So what do we have to do to get the entire block? We're going to have to multiply 30 by 5. And that is going to give us $150. All right. So the answer for this question is $150. All right. Alternatively, what some people might do, you'll say that one-fifth of our allowance is equal to um, $30. So how do we get the entire allowance? We multiply by the reciprocal of one fifth, all right? Reciprocal fancy word just means a uh, meaning that we flip the fraction, right? So we'll have five over one multiplied by 30, all right? And of course that is going to give us the same 100 and $50, right? So both methods uh, would be acceptable and both would give you the same answer. Okay, so that is question number six. Move on now to question number seven, All right? So for this question, we have to place the numbers below in the correct positions on the number line, all right? So these boxes are already drawn up here for us. The arrows are already drawn in. So basically what we are doing here is just putting these numbers in sequence, right? In ascending order from the smallest number to the largest number, right? As you notice, the lowest number on this number line here is zero. And then we have one and we have two, right? So the number that comes before one, right? The only number here that comes before one, meaning there is no one in the units column, right? Um, is 0 0.95. So we're going to put 0 0.95 here in this first block or this first box, right? Then what comes next? We have two numbers with one in the ones column, right? And of course, we have two numbers coming between one and two. So now we have to figure out which is the lesser of these, of these two, sorry, 1.25 and 1.70. Okay, so 1.25 is really happening here. We have one, um, one unit, right? Then we have two tenths and five hundredths, right? And then in 1.70, we have one, one or one unit, right? Then we have um, seven tenths and zero hundredths, okay? So two tenths is smaller than seven tenths, 
So therefore, the second number, or the number that comes a little bit after the one, is going to be 1.25. And then the final number on the number line here is going to be 1.70. All right, guys, so we are fast. Um, Approaching the end of our first 10 questions, right? Tomorrow we'll probably do 8, 9, and 10. Okay, and then we'll continue like that as we move on day to day during the month of Ramadan and beyond until we complete all of your um, questions here in the SCA 2021 specimen papers. All right, do have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow. God willing. Hey, welcome back, guys. Just reminding you once more of our six-week SEA math course that begins on the 26th of April. Right? The registration deadline for that is the 23rd of April. You can reach out to me at 392-5296 on WhatsApp, text messages, or calls to find out more about that and how to get registered, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, The Results, and to follow us on Instagram at The Results Academy and to like our Facebook page, C Results Academy as well. Thank you so much, guys. Goodbye.